Hello, this is Salmanus, and I'm uh, adding another hard drive to my Alienware laptop today. And I'm just going to kind of go through the process with you. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is pull up disk management. Um, should be right here, just to kind of show you what's in there now. As you can see, I just have two drives. Uh, the one is partitioned seven times, but uh, I got the two drives. This is a Western uh, digital black drive. Uh, one of the first ones I think that they put out and basically what it is is it's a conventional hard drive and a solid state built in the one. Um, it's got the 750 gigabyte regular drive with an 80 gigabyte solid state. Now the way mine was configured is that 80 gigabyte solid state is purely cache for the 750 gigabyte drive. So um, I don't get any added storage space from it. It's just purely cache. It's basically a uh, hybrid drive, only instead of just 8 gigabytes, like you'll see most of them have, mine's got 80. Um, just to make sure that I'm looking at everything here, I'm going to pull up cprompt as an administrator and then run disk part. And then I'm going to list disk. So it shows, it shows I got the no media drive there. I think it's just my card reader. And I'm going to also perform a rescan just to make sure that, you know, show that there's nothing else on here. All right, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to flip it over, take out the battery. Oh, that's right. It's internal on this one. All right, so still gonna have to take out the battery. So one thing I like about the Alienware desktops is that they uh, pretty much take this one panel off and you can get at everything you need to. Uh, you'll see what I mean here in a minute. Just these three screws. And that panel comes off. And then so does this panel. Now, one nice thing about the Alienware's that I really, really like is that here's your three main cooling fans. So you can see they're right there, right now open after three screws. You can uh, pull them out, clean them out really easily. It uh, really, really nice feature. So our battery is this guy right here, which we'll take out. I suppose I don't really need to take it out. I can just unplug it. So battery connector. All right. So now that it's unplugged, I'm gonna flip it on its side here and open it up so that I can, well, I'll flip it so you can see it. I'm just going to hit the power button just to make sure all the, uh, any stored energy is dissipated. And we seem to be good. Close that back up, flip around. Alright, so right here is our hard drive bay. So we're going to take these four screws off and they stay on there. They're uh, isolated by little rubber O-rings to minimize vibration affecting the uh, hard drives, which is pretty nice. And then this whole unit will come out, but we do have the back yeah, all the ribbon. Oh, here we are. So, as you can see, here's the uh, 750 gigabyte uh, WD Western Digital Black Drive, um, which we are going to be leaving alone and it's going to sit right there. What I'm going to be installing is a Samsung SpinPoint 2 terabyte drive, and it's mainly just going to be for file storage, um, games, and that. You know, the 
the free stuff they have on Steam every now and then that the nephews want me to try out. All right, now, as you can see, each one of these have its own um, wire that go back to the motherboard. And this is just a uh, cloth connector for the uh, the end here, which is kind of nice. Make sure you orientate it right. Short side, long side, short side, long side. Now the only issue is that I don't have any mounting screws, so I might have to try and see if I can dig up any of those. So it just drops in place. Push the connector in, snaps in place. Now I need some small hard drive screws. Bear with me for a second while I see if I got any sitting in my drawer. So all I did was, oh, ah, there we go. So Alienware was nice enough and included extra screws. So I'm just going to put them all in. just to be sure everything's securely mounted. Four of them out. I don't think it's letting me push it forward all the way. So I get the last one in. Drop this back in its place. Be sure to get them all started before you go reefing them down. Just to make sure they'll all line up. You don't have to really torque them down. And you see how it just flexes, how this can move independently. Alright, so that's back on. I just want to look over my fans quick. Everything looks pretty good in there. Now, connect the battery back up.
person back in. And that's it. That's all there is to it. We'll flip her over, start her up, and then we can uh, see if there's any setting up that we got to do other than maybe formatting it. So now he, we have the uh, hard drive installed in the computer. Now we're just going to uh, see if... Oh, I didn't want that. I'm going to see if it recognizes that it's there. And... Went on the wrong screen. Pull it over here. All right, so I'll just maximize it. So as you can see here, there's no two terabyte drive listed. So we're gonna hit a uh, refresh button once just to see if nothing comes up. All right, so now this is where we're gonna pull up disk part. So we're gonna hit command prompt. Right, no space. So list disk. We're going to rescan. So it's going to do some scanning. List disk. All right. So I I had just got done rebooting it. I went into the BIOS for the computer, just open it up, and then closed it out again. Uh, sometimes opening up BIOS is required so that it'll recognize that there's another drive installed. Uh, now that I've done that and we've restarted, we'll try the disk manager again. Anyway, well, here's the message. As soon as it, I pulled up disk management, here's the message that it popped up and it said you must initialize a disk before local disk manager can access it. So it wants me which type I want to do. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just do the same that is done on the other disks. So let, let me pull that over here quick and we can check that out. Let's see what this is set up as. So it's a GPT. So we'll close this out again. It probably would have just been easier to reinitialize. So we'll take this one and we'll hit GTP, GPT, and we'll hit OK. All right, so now, as you can see, there's a 1,862 gigabyte unallocated drive right here. What we're going to do here is new simple volume. We want the whole thing. We're going to assign it a letter. Normally what it'll do here is just put up the next letter available. Um, I'm not sure if I want that. Nah, we'll go with it. Now it wants to know what kind of file system. Uh, NTFS is usually the de default and I would go with that gives you a chance to label it and then it's going to perform a quick format so it's just saying this is what's going to happen when you hit finish so I'll hit it and then now it's going to format the drive and the quick format goes by very quickly especially when it's a new drive doesn't have anything on it 
Um, and there it is, my new hard drive. We'll uh, pull up File Manager here and take a look. And there it is. Now you can see, I actually just ran a cleanup program on my hard drive, so I have it 196 gigabytes free now. But before, I was down to like 40. So having this one terabyte drive will come in, or two terabyte drive will come in handy. You can leave questions and comments below. Uh, like, dislike, and subscribe if interested.